Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video on how to configure DHCP on a router for multiple VLANs. First thing you need to do is set up the physical connection on all your devices. Now for my second VLAN, VLAN 15, ports 15 to 19. They could be any ports you want, I just like having it organized, it's just better practice to do that. Next you want to set all your end devices, all these, to DHCP. So they pick up a DHCP address when it's sent to them by the router. Let's go double click on the icon, go to desktop, IP configuration, DHCP. That's it. And just do that for each one. You guys don't need to have all these VLAN all these uh, computers in the VLANs. I'm just doing it as an example. Now for the second, whoops, the second VLAN, DHCP, and DHCP. Okay, now the order for the next steps I'm about to do doesn't really matter. This is just my personal preference on how to do it. First, I always set up the uh, interface on the router, in this case is FA00, enable, configure terminal, conf t, interface FA0 slash 0, got to turn that on first, so the port is on, next you want to make sub interfaces, and each sub interface you are going to turn into a trunk. dot 10 for VLAN 10 encapsulation dot 1Q VLAN 10 and then you set up the IP address for that particular sub interface 168.10.1255.255.255.0 for a slash 24 like I have my diagram now I just do that for my other three sub interfaces that I have listed. 15, VLAN 15, encapsulation 15, IP address 15.1. Uh, if you guys want to just use the up and down arrow commands, if you're using Packet Tracer, it's much quicker. You cycle through your previous commands, it's just easier than typing everything over again. Dot 80, whoops, 80, encapsulation, 80. Now I want to set 80 as my native VLAN, so just put encapsulation dot 1Q80 native, and that will set VLAN 80 as your native VLAN for your trunk, and give it its IP address. Whoops. 80.1 and 255.255.255.0 okay now you want to do it for your management VLAN which I, in this case I have set as VLAN 99 and give that its IP address dot one and save. Now I like to set up my interfaces on my switch. First I'll set up the trunk interface which in this case is FA01. If you don't know that has to be a trunk because it's carrying multiple VLANs across it. If you only had it set as a, as a access port it would not work. 
conf t interface fa0 slash 1 uh, switch port mode trunk and now you want to set the native VLAN for that uh, port which which I said previously is 80 so go switch port trunk native VLAN 80 it's a very very simple command exit out of that now you want to uh, set your management interface for the switch so you can telnet in and telnet and SSH into it to perform maintenance or whatever you would have to do in real life just go interface VLAN 99 as I said previously we're having VLAN 99 as the management VLAN give it an IP address so you can actually get into the switch 192.168.99.2 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
network 15 zero network slash 24 mask and the router default router is 15.1 end WR to save your configuration and in a few seconds all your end devices should have an IP address sent to them yep there we are very simple configuration this takes a second why is that not going there we go you would think with the poor fast command it'd be faster than that but I guess packet tracer is a little laggy right now and that's it all your devices have IP addresses they're all in their respective networks. Pretty simple.